Today, people all across the Midwest are picking up the pieces after a series of tornadoes ripped through the region over the weekend. Recovery efforts are underway by local and national organizations, including Eight Days of Hope, who is on the ground tonight in Omaha, Nebraska, to help with the cleanup. And joining us live is Eight Days of Hope Rapid Response Director Dustin Sullivan. Thanks for joining us, Dustin. You guys are on the ground right now. What are you seeing? Yeah, thank you, Mary Alice. Uh, pleasure being here. Uh, we're seeing a lot of devastation. I mean, it's actually, in fact, we're in Sulphur, Oklahoma and Omaha, Nebraska at the same time. Uh, here in Sulphur, where I'm located, um, this tornado took a direct impact to the downtown commercial district. So many times we'll see a tornado hit the outskirts or a suburb of a town, but this little town took an, uh, a deep impact right to, to the heart of it and uh, it has destroyed many of the local businesses that are that are on Main Street and, and around downtown. The devastation is just unbelievable. Give us an idea of the work that you do. How is your team helping people affected by the tornadoes? Yes, ma'am, you're right. It, it does unreal damage. Uh, in fact, here uh, in Sulphur, a tornado hit I believe it was Saturday night, and then about an hour later, another tornado came through the same area and hit it twice in the same night. Uh, what we do at Eight Days of Hope is we come in and we'll help people through tree work. Um, we'll help elderly. We'll help the uh, the, the widows, uh, maybe the single moms. If they need help with the trees, taking trees off of their roofs or out of their driveways, we can help with that. Also, if they have holes in the roof, maybe a branches uh, come in their house, we can remove the branches and then we can patch the roofs up until they can get a new roof on the house. We also have a mass feeding arm where we can furnish up to 8,000 meals per day to, to people who are maybe don't have electricity or linemen that are in the area servicing, trying to get power restored. Obviously, you've got a lot of work to do there. A lot of people are watching and wondering how it is they can help. Uh, how can they do that? Yes, ma'am, that's a great question. Right now, uh, we have uh, uh, several volunteers that are helping. We're assessing the damage to see if we need to call for more volunteers. But right now, people can help by um, by donating to the ministry. Uh, what we do, uh, obviously cost. We have to put uh, diesel in the vehicles. We have to put fuel in the chainsaws. We have to feed our volunteers. So it, it does cost. So if they would like to, they contribute um, donation wise. They can go to 8daysofhope.com. But last but not least is everyone can pray for us. They can pray for the ministry and they can pray for all who've been affected by this storm. Amen. And yeah, obviously you're going to be there for a while doing your work. So we appreciate the update. Dustin Sullivan is the Eight Days of Hope Rapid Response Director. Thanks for joining us on the 530. Thank you, Mary Alice. You have a great night. Thank you.